Now they move to the left-hand carriageway, through two kilometres to go. The Lex left-hander is coming up, and Bike Exchange are going to be on the front with Caden Groves in the wheels. Have they hit it a little bit too early? They come out. They're safely there, but Caden Groves probably doesn't want to be where he is right now. On the front then, look at the speed. Scottson leads with Hepburn there. Groves is quite happy sitting now in the wheels. Big move on the far side as Uskatel, Uskadi launch. This is a big acceleration. 54 kilometers an hour. Bike Exchange getting themselves ready. This is a big attack and Bike Exchange are gonna hunt this one down. They send one rider off the front. 1,200 metres of racing to go. The race is going to come all back together as we come out of this roundabout. Oh, a big crash. One of the quick step riders hits the deck, and I think that might be Bagioli who's crashed badly. 1,000 metres of racing to go. And the rider who did hit the deck there was Van Vilder, so Bagioli is still in there. Bike exchange, it's so, so messy. I think Ethan Vernon is also up there. Look at that, there's just a mass of jerseys, a mass of riders. Five hours and 20 minutes of racing. Who is gonna win this stage today? Bauhaus gets ready, he moves up. 500 meters to go. Through the next roundabout, then it's straight into the finish line. Hofstetter is getting ready. On his wheel is Ethan Vernon. Vernon is set for a sprint. Also up there, Sylvain Monique. Bjorn Balvan is also up there. This is a messy, messy sprint. Caden Groves is out of position. Ethan Vernon on the wheel of Guillaume Bolvan. Vernon goes for it for quick step. It's going to be Ethan Vernon on the line. Is he going to get it? Ethan Vernon wins the stage. Quick step Alpha Vinyl win. And Ethan Vernon takes his first victory for the Quick Step Alpha Vinyl squad. What a sprint that was. Ethan Vernon struck for home very early, but no one was able to get near him. Vernon wins the stage for Quick Step Alpha Vinyl. Guillaume Bovan alongside him. It was a long, long sprint, but the young British rider takes his first ever professional win, beating Phil Bauhaus, and the celebration tells it all. Bauhaus on the far side. Look at the sprint of Ethan Vernon. Bauhaus left it late but he just didn't have the speed. The first professional win and a win in the World Tour. He had to do it all himself in the end because it was such a mess, that sprint. Here's the margin of victory. Ethan Vernon wins for Quick Step Alpha Vinyl. Bauhaus is second. Also up there, Caden Groves, Guillaume Bolvan and Martin Lass. This is Van Vilder, who will just ride in. Let's take a look then at the clarification and the confirmation of today's stage. Ethan Vernon wins his first professional win for the Quick Step Alpha Vinyl team. He beats Phil Bauhaus into second, Gordon in third. Then it was the Canadian champion, Bolvan, and Caden Groves looking for his second stage when he ended up in fifth place. Let's take a look then at the classification overall. Well, that intermediate sprint means that João Almeida is now the leader of Volta Catalunya. One second ahead of Nara Quintana, and he's extended his advantage now on Higuita and his teammate Ayuso there in fourth place. A very clever ride there by UAE Team Emirates to give their rider, the green and white jersey, as we go into stage six tomorrow.